So we'll do some warm ups and maybe some little leg things today and see what else we do. So in hip width apart, toes straight ahead. Get everything aligned, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders. Get your core activated, ribs toward your spine and up. Shoulders back and down and crown to the ceiling. Take a moment to get that inner yoga focus. Breathing deep, exhaling tension. Spread your toes and lengthen your spine and inhale, arms to shoulder level. Stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your chest and elbows back, keeping your heart open. Inhale, out to the front, but bring those shoulders down. Hands behind you, clasping as you exhale. Press them to the floor as you inhale, lift your heart and stretch your head back. And then pivot at your hips as you exhale, coming over. Deepen as far as you want to go. And take a moment to move your chin around, releasing your neck. And then bring your hands a little further toward your head through your shoulders. Tuck your chin in just slightly, bend your knees just slightly, start at the bottom of the spine, wind your way all the way to the top. And again, upper body back, bend, lift your heart, stretch your head back, but remember, don't lift the chin too high. Take a moment there, breathing in that back bend, lengthening through the spine, even in the back bend. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment just feeling that circulation. And once more, arms at shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out, and then bring them together in front of your heart. Inhale all the way out to the front, and exhale, clasping your hands the other way behind you, opposite finger outside. Lift your heart again into the back bend, and pivot over, exhaling as deeply as you'd like. And again, take a few breaths there, just lifting the sitting bones, stretching the back of your legs, maximizing or minimizing whatever's working for you. And again, lifting your body back all the way to the top. Lift your heart into that upper body back bend. Stretch your head back. Move your chin around a little again, making sure that back of the neck keeps stretching. And then inhale to the top, releasing your arms. And take a moment, just feeling again that warmth spreading through you. Side stretches, so let's bring the arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass them, turn and clasp, and then bring your arms back by your ears. Stretch out everything straight, no twist on this one, and lean to the side. Get those ribs opening as you laterally move. Press the foot down, reach out through your head and your fingertips. Take a moment to breathe. And then inhale to the center, the shoulders down as you switch the other hand to the front. And again, pull the arms back by your ears. Stretch and no leaning forward or twirling or twisting, just go over to the side. And again, feel the ribs open as you push your foot one way and the hands the other. Take a moment and breathe. And again, inhale back to the center, shoulders stay down, bring the arms out and back to your sides. Again, take a moment feeling the sides a little bit more open. And then stretch the spine apart for our twist. Spread your toes out. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Just clasp your elbows gently. Keep your arms by your ears. Keep everything straight and the spine stretched apart so it can twist and turn to one side. Take a breath. And as you exhale, pivot over. And just hang there a moment, lift your sitting bones, drop the crown toward the floor, and let the back of your body stretch while you're twisting. See if the weight's on both feet evenly. Keep it on both feet as you wind your way back up in the twist and into that upper body for the back bend. Remember, gentle on your lower back, especially when it's twisting. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. 
Get everything balanced and stretched and exhale to the other direction. And again, breath in. And as you exhale, come out in your Uda twist. Deepen as far as you'd like to go and relax. See if the weight's still even on both feet. And then inhale again, slowly working your way up in the twist into that upper body back bend. Shoulders down, elbows back, and chest high. Take a few breaths there, lengthening through the back of your body. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, arms up into extended mountain. Let's come up on one side, coming up on the opposite toe, lifting the heel so that that side, you're stretching the foot stays flat and you get a really good lengthening through the side. Keep the shoulder blades bow towards your waist. Exhale that side down, do the other side. Again, lift the heel, stretch that foot flat and the fingertips up on the side, you're stretching. Lengthen and breathe. And then both feet down, both arms up, arms right next to your ears, shoulder blades towards your waist, core active, so ribs in and up. We're gonna go into our squat chair position. So bend your knees toward your toes, push your sitting bones way back, keep your arms by your ears, your back straight, and just sink down as deeply as you want. So you can go as far as thigh bones parallel to the floor if that works for your knees. But remember, don't push them too far forward. Push those sitting bones further back. Take a breath. Shoulder blades still toward your waist. And then pivot over and around. Hang there for a moment, just breathing. And move your shoulders around a couple of times, releasing any tension, tightness, circling around. And then back into your squat, bringing your arms back by your ears, coming back into chair position, maybe a little deeper. Make sure those knees are going toward your toes, not in or out. And then fingertips leading, come on back up into extended mountain. Check those shoulders, are they hunched up by your ears or are they pulled down? And then arms up to the side, swan dive forward. And again, drop into ragdoll, just hanging. Go in deeper with the hands behind your legs if you want to. Get a good stretch on that back. Release the arms to the front. Bend your knees slightly. And again, do that wind up from the bottom of the spine. Bring the ear, shoulders up by your ears, and then back and all the way down. Feel that difference. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment. Feel what's going on for your body. Lengthen up, spread the toes. So lift the toes, get into that base of the toe area. So the balls of the toes all the way across. Spread the toes out when you put them down. So no gripping with the toes. You get the whole area across that base of the toe area and your heel evenly connected on your balanced foot. Knee going toward that second toe. So remember you have that whole thigh roll in so that you get that alignment. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active. <clears throat> so support your spine with those ribs in and up, feeling that core activate and give you better support on your spine. We'll lengthen up through the spine and then bring the other foot. So again, roll in so you're not crossing the foot over to the other leg. Pull it up as high as you want toward your heart. Find your balance and then work your ankle. Both ways, circling. Come on, you're ready to release. Flex and point a couple of times. Just straighten it out as you bring it back down. Sink evenly into both feet. Transfer what worked and include the rest. So again, get that base of the toe area really connected. Keep the arch lifted. <clears throat> Make sure the whole bottom of your foot along the outside, across the base of the toes and through the heel are connected. Toes spreading out, not gripping. That loses your support. Again, make sure line, you're lined up and core activated. Relax those shoulders, bringing the other foot up. 
So remember, balance challenge, just leave it close to the floor, bring it up a little, or pull it in if you want. Try not to cross it over. Remember, you want to keep those legs facing the front. Circle that ankle when you're ready. And again, flex and point a few times, and bring it back down. Take a breath. Exhale in tension. And bring your hands to your heart. We'll look at them as you bring them toward the ceiling. Straighten your show, uh, straighten your elbows, bring your shoulders down, and then pull your thumbs back as you lift your heart coming into the back bend. Keep the hips above your ankles as much as you can. Then just bring that upper body into the back bend as far as you'd like. Exhale, hands toward your heart. Give it on over. Releasing the underarm dog. Inhale, hands under your knees on your shins. Press gently in. Knees straight, elbows straight, spine straight. So keep that neck stretching out. And sitting bones and crown are reaching away from each other. Spread your toes out, no gripping. Get a good stretch in that halfway up position. And then exhale back down into rag dog. Knees bent. Chin in, sitting bones down, lift the ribs, and again, slowly bringing your hands to your heart, shoulders down, keep them down as you raise your hands toward the ceiling, and again, lifting your heart into the upper body back bend. Keep breathing as you gaze at your thumbs. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, and back into mountain pose. Take a moment there, and Relax. Spread your toes, no gripping. Reach the crown toward the ceiling. Bring your arms out at shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling. Hands above your shoulders again into extended mountain. Keep your arms by your ears. We'll go into our squat chair position again. So remember, the knees don't go beyond your toes. Just bring them slightly forward. As you push your sitting bones way back, arms by your ears. You can stay there, or you can bring your hands to your heart. Remember, shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist. As you're in that squat, you can do a twist. So remember, when you twist, you want the spine to stretch apart. So sitting bones and crown stretch away. Exhale, and turn your whole body looking toward the side. You can bring the elbow that's down to the outside of your knee, the other one straight up as you look toward the side. Stretch those spines apart. Breathe. Relax into your twist. Keep those knees right where they are. Don't push them up beyond your toes. Take a breath, stretch it out. If you'd like, you can separate your arms. One down and one up, and get everything as straight to the side as you can. And then bring your hands back together to your heart. Rotate back, facing the floor. Bring your arms out by your ears. Fingertips raising up. Bring yourself back to extended mountain. Shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist. Exhale, hands out and down to the sides, and circle those shoulders a little bit. So you're still in mountain pose, and your toes are spreading, not gripping, and your shoulders are down toward your waist, shoulder blades toward your waist, spine stretching apart. And again, we're gonna do, of course, our twist to the other side. So once more, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, Hands above your shoulders. Come into your squat chair position. And again, go as deep as you'd like and pause. Take a moment there or bring your hands to your heart for a twist. Take a moment, breathing, lengthen that spine so it can twist. Exhale, turn your whole body, looking to the side. Bring that elbow out to the outside of that knee that you're turning toward. The other elbow right above it, we're looking straight to the side. Knees even, thighs parallel. 
Knees not going beyond your toes. Stay there, or if you want, you can spread your hands apart. Take a breath, stretch, lengthen that spine, staying in your twist as long as you like. If your hands are apart, bring them back together to your heart. And again, turn your whole body facing the floor. Release the arms back next to your ears. Shoulder width apart with those fingertips. Leave the thumb coming up. Check your toes, not gripping as you get into extended mountain. Exhale, hands out and down to your sides. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale all that stress and tension. And hands to your heart. Inhale all the way toward the ceiling. Another nice upper body back bend. Let's swan dive this time coming forward and into right dog. Hands up under your knees on your shins, stretch and straighten. And then exhale, coming down and into child pose. Hips back on your heels, forehead toward the floor, hands, palms up at your side. Take a moment, just letting that spine stretch and breathe. And chill out. And exhale, relax. And then bring your hands out in front, dip it up in the table. So we're just gonna do a balance here. So knees under your hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Remember, you can fold your mat or put a pad under the heel of your palm so that it doesn't have to bend so much at the wrist. And spread your fingers. The other thing you can do, of course, is put your knuckles down with the thumb inside just gently and eliminate that bend if you need to. So wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Knees under your hips. Bring those ribs up along that back of your body to support your lower back. So ribs toward your spine and then lifting toward your heart. Bring that low back nice and straight, not sinking. And then bring your right leg out and up to hip level. Knee and toes facing the floor and left arm coming forward. Stretch it out, balance arm next to your ear, foot at hip level, balancing, keeping that core active, breathing, making sure those hips are even toward the floor. Take a breath, shoulder blades toward your waist, in whatever position you are. And then hand back to the floor, knee back to the mat, circle that wrist that we were working, and get ready for our balance on the other side. Core activated, lifting those ribs, getting that low back supported before you begin. Check your alignment, wrists, elbows, and shoulders, knees and hips, and then slide the left foot back, and up to hip level. Toes down toward the floor, knees facing the floor. Hips even, don't lift that hip, make sure it stays down. Arm, opposite arm up, so right arm up, and by your ear. Reach out the foot and the hand, lengthen. Check those hips, make sure one isn't tipping one way or the other. Take a breath. Maximize that stretch as much as your spine loves. My arm going to the front, sitting bones back. Exhaling, hand to the floor, knee back to the mat, Again, circle that other wrist. And sit back, extended child pose. You can bring your forehead all the way down into wisdom pose. Circle those ribs if you'd like. Take a breath. And exhale tension. And then inhale, come on back up into yeah, table one more time. You're going to turn to the front. Wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Knees, hips lined up, core active, supporting your spine. And we're going to do a gate pose. 
So for this one, you're gonna bring the right leg over to the side, right out from your hip, with the toes facing toward the front. And then walk your hands up your legs, bringing your upper body right above your knee and hips. So as you're here, if that knee is crushed, you can put some padding under it. So hips are facing forward, shoulders are facing forward, toes are facing forward on that extended out leg. Hand along the leg toward the knee and the other arm out at shoulder level. Keep your body right above that knee and turn your palm toward the ceiling. Extend those fingertips up. So your arm is right by your ear. Everything is lined from your hip and shoulder up through your fingertips. And then we're just gonna slide that hand over to the side and bring your whole side of your body into that side stretch. So you can slide this hand along the leg as much as it wants to go. And just breathe. Make sure you're not leaning forward, still just facing the front, getting that side of your body opening. Keep breathing, stretching, exhaling tension, deepening as far into that gait pose as you want. And then inhale back up, exhale the arm out and around. Bring both hands to the front, right under your shoulders, and bring your other knee back into place. So you're back in table position briefly as we get ready to go to the other side. So take a moment there. Or active, everything aligns straight. Stretch that spine out. Bring your left foot out to the side. Hip even with the other foot, or other hip, toes to the front. And then walk your hands back toward your body and up, making sure your hips and shoulders face the front. Take a moment there, getting things aligned, patting your knee if you need to hand along that extended leg. Get the hip and shoulder right above the knee and bring your arms up to the side, palm up, arm right above your shoulder by your ear. Stretch everything nice and straight on that side and then slow right into that side stretch. So lateral motion coming over toward the side. You've got that hip joint as your hinge, your hand sliding the hand down along your leg, the arm next to your ear is straight, stretching out. So from your knee, through your ribs, through your shoulder, and your fingertips, everything is stretching long as much as you like. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. And then slide back straight up. Bring the arm out, palm down, at your side. And again, bring your hands to the floor. Bring your knee back into table position. And we're going to sink back again into a nice extended child's pose or a forehead all the way down into wisdom pose. Take a breath. Just exhale. And then inhale, slide your hands back, sitting on your heels. We're going to clasp the hands behind, shoulder, shoulder blades toward the floor as you press your knuckles toward the floor. Lift up through the chest, looking high, and then pivot forward at your hip joints. Exhale, forehead down, hands coming toward your head. So you can lift up your hips from the heels if you want to, or you can just keep them sinking back. Either way is fine. Take a breath. Lengthen your spine, and then exhale, bring your hands behind you slightly as you turn and look toward one side. Exhale, back to the center. Inhale, lifting up, face to the front, and toward the ceiling as those hands come down. Release your hands for a moment and breathe. And of course, we're going to do that and twist yeah, to the other side. So bring your hands behind and clasp them the opposite way, other finger outside. Stretch your head uh, back and your chest high, chin slightly, and remember, don't crunch the back of your neck. Exhale and come on over. And again, come as far down as you want, hands rotating up toward your head as far as they want to go. Take a breath, and then exhale, turn your whole body, so make sure that spine is still open, 
as you turn and look toward that opposite side, arms coming across to the other direction. Take a breath, shoulder blades are still toward your waist, sitting bones and cramps still reaching apart. Take a breath, exhale, turn back to the center. And again, inhaling, face forward, cramp up, stretch through the back of the neck as you bring the hands back toward the floor. And exhale, release your hands and just pivot over once more into child's pose. Shoulders down, hands, palms up. Take a breath, exhale, tension. You can stay there for your relaxation or I'm gonna just slide up Bring my feet to the end of the mat into stack position. Activate the core and we'll roll down onto our back into corpse position because I can talk more easily there. So find your position for your relaxation. Let your body soften and sink into that surface beneath you. Just let the shoulders go. Hands, palms up, whatever position you're in. Feet just slightly toward each other if you're in force, and then just relax everything and let your whole body soften and sink, growing heavy. Deep in into that first connection, letting the earth support you as it always does. Just let your body go. As you soften and sink. Allow your awareness to release from your body. And know that as you do, other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts float in and out as easily as your breath. And as you breathe, let those thoughts drift away without paying attention to their content. And allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Let that awareness focus inward, finding the peace deep within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Just take a few moments to bring peace. And of course, if you have time to do this and relax even longer, feel free to do that. If it's time to reactivate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the mind, to the room, to your body. Begin breathing more deeply, stretching your body gently in whatever way it feels good for you today. And when you're ready for that final yoga hope of appreciation, sitting by the sword, your heels. Heels coming toward your hips and knees up toward your head. Wrap your arms around, however, heels good for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready, and feet to the floor, roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for your baby. Thanks for joining me.